Alberta, Canada is a major tourist town. We get a lot of visitors here each year, which may become a threat to our environment. We're here in beautiful Banff National Park, and we're going to tell you a bit what the town of Banff and the Banff Community High School has done for our environment. Throughout this video, a group of students will be telling you about what the town of Banff has done environmentally for our community. One of our groups is interviewing the Green Team. The Green Team has helped our school a lot by providing us composters and recycling bins. Um, every one of these cars passing by is affecting our environment. They are hurting our air and polluting the town of Banff. This happens not just in Banff, but in all cities and towns across the world. One of the main things that the town of Banff has done for our environment is the environmentally friendly buses. Oh, speaking of road buses, Jack, here comes one right now. Is it, do you prefer walking or taking the bus? I prefer walking. No. Why? Why? Because it's energy efficient and it helps reduce a lot of this. And get her done. Okay, thank you. No problem. Advantages of the bus. It helps the tourism of Banff. The Rome bus is a hybrid electric transit fleet and it is environment oh. friendly. Advantages of walking, good for health and exercise. Me? Yeah, we're the first. <laughs> this is the inside of the bus. Facts about the Rome bus. In 2008, the Rome bus became biodiesel. It is an electric hybrid bus. It can have 84 passengers, 34 seats, 50 up. The Rome bus has four fleets, three routes in summer and two routes in winter. The Rome bus doesn't need fuel like the other buses, which makes it environment friendly. Parking issues in Banff. Banff has small parking spaces, so people legally park their cars anywhere they want to. The bus that gets off, as long as it's environmental. Climate change is uh, when the Earth's climate warms up because of the buildup of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. What is the effects of climate change? Well, um, climate change makes the weather more extreme and it also makes it uh, warmer outside, which is a bad thing because of melting ice caps and things. Okay, thank you. One more question, please. What is the cause of climate change? Um, uh, industrial pollution and uh, cars, and mainly greenhouse gases being released into the atmosphere. Welcome to Banff Community High School. Uh, what has the BCHS or Green Team done to help the com community prevent global warming? Well, the projects I know about are the uh, rain barrels. We actually painted some of them two years ago in here. I had the great uh, nines do it. And I know that uh, there's quite a few out in the community. A lot of uh, people bought them. And the second project I know about is the use of uh, the biofuel. In, in the buses. Uh, I know that uh, I think all our buses in the school division now run on the biofuel. So those are the two projects I'm aware of. Opinion is the stuff that we have done helped? I think it has. I think it's made us more aware and it's made um, everyone a little bit more conscious about the, you know, solar heating, um, recycling, you know, trying to make our environment last a little longer. I mean, 
some of us have lived a lot longer than you, but the younger generation is the one that's really going to have to, you know, more benefit from it. going to do more. Yes, we're always uh, doing more. Um, the green team is a student run. I just am a facilitator of it. So it's the kids that decide what projects we're going to work on. Um, some people from the community, including the Biosphere Institute, um, sort of come to us and talk to us about various different things. Um, one of the things we did do is an anti-idling campaign with the Biosphere Institute. And so anything that comes to us, we kind of mull it about and decide what projects we're going to work on for the year. And um, we continue to work on whatever it is that um, the community sees needs working on. Yes, when I just saw what I saw new garbage bins, recycling bins, and even organic bins. Well, they're roads. Really, you don't know? <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to go through all of it then. Well, I really want to know because they can really help. Yeah, and I was like, hey, what did you do that for? That's not cool. We need to help our earth stay nice and healthy. Well, sorry, it's just a little piece of paper, so yeah, I'm just going to do anything. But still, you have to recycle. It'll help our earth so much. Come on, let's go. You see, this is the organic bin. I was talking to you. What did you do? Uh, it's like a compost bin. There's worms and stuff inside, and like extra fruits and vegetables. Oh, it stinks! That looks gross. But it does. Help. <laughs> oh, what are these? What are all these other bins? There's this one. It, it's all recycling bins, but it's worms. Glass. Glass. There's like aluminum. It makes papers for like worksheets, and then there's newspapers. We can all re reuse all of these. That's so cool. I want to learn so much more about this. You will. Don't worry. Okay. I'm going to have to give up some energy efficient light bulbs now. Oh. Oh, hold on. Hello? Okay. I'll be there in a little bit. Bye. I have to go home. My sister's sick. I have to go home. But I'll be back. Okay, bye. Bye. Last seven years, this one lasts nine years, but this one lasts 11 years, and I don't know why it's good. Hey! Hey! How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. What are you doing? I'm waiting for some light bulbs from my family. Mm, yeah? And why is that so hard? Because I don't know which one to choose. It's also confusing. Well, these ones. Why those? Why? Because they're more energy efficient, they're brighter, and they last way longer. That's true. Yeah. And if everyone in Banff uses these light bulbs, we save a lot of energy throughout the whole town. Hmm. I'm gonna go get this one. Thanks, Sam. No problem. Bye. Bye. Hey, Sedona. Hi. I'm how's, back. Your, how's your little sister? She's kind of sick. Oh, yeah. So, what did you learn? I learned about energy efficient light bulbs, but I know there's something more, but I don't know. What it is. Well, there's moon buses. Okay, let's go check them out. Okay, come on. Hey, look, there's a road bus now. Yeah, they're just like hybrids, and they're also way more energy efficient, and their carbon dioxide emissions are way lower, too. I think we should go to the professor and get all the right answers. Me too, let's go. Town of Banff has done lots of different things to try and be an environmental leader. When we think of some of the environmental concerns that the town looks at, they include water, waste, energy consumption, air pollution. So a few things around us here sort of show some of the initiatives that we're taking. The buses themselves we just bought are hybrid buses, so sometimes they're running on electricity and sometimes on diesel fuel, but that's with the idea that the more people we can get in the buses, and the less fuel we can use, the less air pollution we create. I can't believe what we've done with BAMP. It's so amazing. I know. I love how it like really helps our environment. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey Al. What do you What do you think of it? I think for this work, everyone needs to chip in to help the environment. 
So, what have you done? And that concludes our video. But you're wondering why we care about this. Here are some reasons. Because we always want to enjoy Bamford's true beauty. We always want to be able to ski and snowboard on all the mountains around here. Also, we want to be able to play in our nice clean river and swim 